Uh, hello uh, to anyone who is watching this. Um, I should help the GD community. This is Best for Renee. <clears throat> so, uh, I have a uh, potato comp, so it's going to take me a while to load in. So, while I'm loading in, I want to uh, explain what I'm doing. So, um, this is patch 4.21, and the Rek'Sai patch. And Riot has said that they have stopped early solo dragons. Uh, I don't think Riot really cares about the junglers who can solo at level 6, as that hasn't really been a new thing. I mean, uh, Nasus was able to do it and was able to do it. A lot of people were able to do it before. It's the level 3 that's so early that you cannot reasonably go and stop them that early. Oh, I loaded on a decent time. Okay. So, I do apologize in advance. I'm on a very terrible computer, so this might uh, lag a little bit. Uh, so I do apologize for that. My computer is not great at all. But I'm going to show two junglers that can still solo dragon at level 3 and how to do it. I'm going to explain it. It's uh, They're both very circumstantial on how to do it. What I mean by circumstantial is you have to take a proper jungle route. Both of them can do it on blue or red side. If you are red side, you have to start Krugs, then go red. So you go Krugs, red, and then blue. If you are on blue side, it's actually a little more difficult, but I mean they're both doable, but it's slightly more difficult and you have less blue buff duration. But you go blue buff into, uh, sorry, you go you go uh, gromp into blue into red, and then you do dragon. So it's kind of the standard jungle route um, for both of these junglers. Now I'm going to talk about, um, I am going to be combining two separate videos because I am horrible at video making, so I'll be combining both of them, so I'll do the second video. Second, I'll just merge it with this one. But, so the first one is Jungle Nunu, as you can see me playing. Uh, everyone hates this guy, and I think he is completely toxic. So, the way you do a Jungle Nunu is you have to have a uh, very specific rune setup. So what I'm running is I'm running 15% CDR in my runes. I'm running full flat CDR, quints, and blues. All my blues and quints are cooldown reduction. Um, I'm running, uh, I believe it's attack speed reds. And I'm running, I believe it's Flat Armor Yellows. Uh, for my Yorick Jungle page, it's my, st um, which is the second guy I'll show you who does it differently. Um, and I would urge you to watch that as well as this one because there are some tips and tricks that'll show in doing it. But the Yorick Jungle page is a little bit different. Uh, well, actually quite a bit different. But um, So I start with 20% CDR and I'll have 30% CDR when I get blue buff. Uh, and how I do this. Once again, I do apologize for the shaky performance, and you are going to have to see me doing Clears just because, why not? Also, um, I guess we'll do it. I don't really know if I'm supposed to take Ice Blast level 2 or Consume level 2. I mean, they're both pretty similar, but, I mean, I don't know. I took the, or not Consume level 2, uh, Blood Boil. I mean, I took, uh, Blood Boil level 2 when I started Red Side, and then went on, uh, for the more attacks with the frogs, but... Honestly, I don't really care. Like, it's both gonna work. Um, so I have 30% CDR right now for Doom Blue because uh, I started 20% CDR because I have 5% offense. Because I'm going 6, 21, and 3 in my room. So I have 30% CDR, as you can see. Uh, so I have 6 in offense, including exposed weakness, by the way. And the reason why I take that is because I would expect to do that in a realistic normal game. I want to make this as realistic as possible. Uh, I am smiting red buff immediately. That is important. Your second buff you need to immediately smite. The reason why is because you need your smite back up literally as fast as possible, and you'll see why in a moment, like when I'm doing dragon. So you need your smite immediately back up, so like it's on the cooldown, so you have to immediately smite your buff. That's on both these junglers. You cannot wait. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's basically a race to the death. Basically, you're trying to out-eat the dragon with 30% CR. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to pop both of my health pots right at the start. I'm going to start by eating them. And let's do this. Uh, it, you do spam your spells at the beginning. And then around the midpoint, you kind of have to be careful because you'll start running out of mana. Uh, so uh, you always have to be able to consume next. And as you can see, like, this thing is almost killing me. Like, it's harsh. Like, you could not do this without every single one of your abilities. Um, like, it's close. And I'm just gonna smite it right here, because why the fuck not? And bang. I mean, I almost died of 137 health, but level 30 dragon, solo. So, 
uh, I will make the next video and I'll show you how to do that. But basically, you just spam your consume. You have to have 30% CDR with blue buff and quince and blues. That way you can eat it as fast as possible. I run 621.3. I run 3 in swiftness because that is standard on Nunu. I run exposed weakness because I would expect to have some sort of utility as Nunu. And I run 21 in defense because I'm trying to make this realistic. Like, I'm not doing something just a solo dragon except for the runes, really. I want it to be something you can do in a reasonable game. Um, you can, Nunu can reasonably solo dragon before the 4 minute mark, by the way. So I will end this video, and I will begin the next Elmer's the 2, and you guys will hopefully see it. So take care, guys. So, hey guys, uh, once again, I mean, well, once again for me, you guys are just continuing the video. Um, I do want to apologize, so I didn't have the run page properly memorized for Nunu. Uh, I was running flat armored yellows, so that was the, um, the yellows. I had already figured it all out, like what would be best, but I kind of forgot. <laughs> um, for Yorick, I'm actually running my standard AD rune page, which is 80 reds. I run 80 quints. I run health per level yellows. I run 5% CDR flat in blues, and then I run the rest are MR blues. I can't remember if they're for level or not. Um, so I'm starting red side team this game just to show, like, you can do it on both sides. I mean, I know it's a different jungler, but they both work on both sides. I've tried it on both sides. They both work on both sides. So you can do it <clears throat> blue side or red side. You do need to start with offside side jungle, though, always, because uh, the reason being is you cannot waste your blue buff duration because both junglers need it uh, to do dragon, they need their blue buff, so you are forced to um, be near the dragon. So, uh, the hell, there's one to pop out the screen. Um, so, you, it's kind of funny, I think Riot actually forgets about York, because it's like, if you look at his recommended items, like, they don't even recommend a jungle item for him, they just recommend, like, oh, cool, here's an elixir. Uh, so I'm running 921, which I know a lot of people will scream and bitch at me for it. And so here's the thing. Uh, Yorick goes 21-9 if he's laning, and if he's jungling, you go 921. Why? Because he's a utility jungler. So you actually pick Yorick. <coughs> you actually pick Yorick's pr jungle pretty much strictly for his ultimate. His ganks aren't amazing, although his sustain is really, really good. So basically, if you already have a top laner, if you just, like, let's say someone's like Nasus, and you're like, ooh, Nasus really wants to go top, or Trinity really wants to go top, or something, you take Yorick jungle. And uh, Yorick is really good with hyper carries, and there's a lot of hyper carries right now in the league. There is Yi, there is Viora, there is Trinomir, there is Kogma, there is Vayne, there is Tristana. And a lot of them become more viable. Kogma and Tristana weren't really that good before, and now they are. So it's like cool. We can have a second one. Um, you know, I'm sure everyone remembers when Tristana was really, really overpowered recently. It's stupid. So. Um, so, yeah, if anyone's curious about York Jungle, you max your E first, and then your Q second, your W last. Um, so, I'm starting Krugs this time. Uh, so, once again, I'm starting with 10% CDR. If we look at this, I'm starting with 10% cooldown reduction. Uh, and I believe that will help me quite a bit when I'm doing Dragon. <clears throat> I always, uh, this is just a thing with me, but I hate putting 5 points on offense and starting 5% cooldown reduction, and then, like, having that 5% linger there, like, it bugs me out, so, uh, I have 5% in a lot of my rooms, and that's just something I do, like, a lot of my blues have 5% either in scaling or flat, just so I can have, um, 10% cooldown reduction to start, except in Nuno's case, which is funny. Uh, so, like, York Jungle, by the way, uh, doesn't really fucking die in the jungle, like, seriously, like, it's kind of funny, like, his ghouls tank for him, and they heal him, and it's awesome, and then he gets dragged and cry, but yeah. So, okay, so I'm level 2 off that. Um, you take a little more damage when you're doing uh, red star instead of being able to smite it, but whatever. Uh, he has an all attack reset, so just keep that in mind. So I'll explain how to do this. Um, by the way, when I jungle Yorick, uh, I don't upgrade my jungle on immediately. I actually uh, get tier my first back. So, and you actually can't, after it's only dragon, you actually can go back into your jungle usually and then bump up tier, so it's kind of cool. I'm just trying not to spam my spells too, too much here, because it's like, I don't want to run out of mana while doing good buff. I mean, I know I can smite and get mana, but, you know, still. 
Uh, okay, so let's get over there. Once again, you need to blow, just like Nunu, you need to blow your smite at the beginning of blue. Uh, you cannot do it at the end because you need it up as fast as possible. So I'm gonna, so that's why I'm showing all of this. So instead of just me doing dragon, so by showing me just doing dragon, you're not gonna like necessarily have that fight. So let's do that. So I'm doing blue buff right now. And then, uh, yeah, let's get this thing down. I take no damage, like, this is kind of stupid, actually. But anyway, so, I don't mind taking my sweet-ass time doing these so much, because I have, I don't really care about red buff, I just want my blue buff up for a while, like, I, I just want to be topped off a mana, really. If you start, uh, if you are on the blue side, there we go, almost full mana. If you're on the blue side, you go over here and go down there, like, you'll be fine on mana. So, here's the thing. Do not start right here. Go around this way. Then you spawn your ghoul right here. You will have to take some hits. Period. It's gonna happen. Like, right here, I'm gonna take a hit. That's fine. I'm gonna take another hit. Summon one before him before he begins his attack. Oh, I failed. So, basically, you take some hits, and then before he begins his attack, you just summon a goal behind it. Do not spam all of your abilities, because if you do, uh, you will run oom um very easily. Summon another goal. So you kind of just juggle aggro, like, like, kind of, but like, you take some of the hits, so that way, you know, um... And then your, uh, your E ghoul, the, the, uh, ghoul on your E spell, will help you recover some back. As you can see, this actually isn't entirely too difficult. I mean, I could probably run this without 10% CDR, but it helps in certain situations, like, depending on how you do this, so... I mean, it's taking me a bit longer than Nunu. Obviously, as you can see, this is going to be a 5-minute dragon, and not a 4-minute dragon, but I still sell it at a 3. So, I honestly, getting a dragon down by 5-minute mark, even though it's not 4 minutes like Nunu, it's a bit slower, and I can go back and get 2 right now if I wanted to. Um, like, that's really worth it, in my opinion. So, uh, I'm just going to close this video with my closing thoughts, which is... Uh, I honestly don't have a problem with junglers who can solo a dragon at 6. I think that's okay, because there's that's usually the point when mid laners can roam and bot laners have the freedom to like, move around or whatever, and you should be able to ward. The problem is when you do it at level 3, that there's not much counterplay you can do about it. Like, oh, okay, you can ward and run over there, but like, I mean, honestly, if you don't have the awareness, like, about it, then... It, even if you do have the awareness, like, if you leave your lane at level 3, you're giving up a lot really. So it's just not worth it in my opinion. Like, you, I mean, not worth it, but I mean, it's not, like, it's it's really bad to be able to sell a dragon level 3. Now, I will totally abuse this, don't get me wrong, but, um, I kind of just want a light lead community. I thought about keeping this to myself, but I figure it's gonna, I, I also figure it's gonna get out there one way or another, so, uh, enjoy and Merry Christmas, everyone. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video.